Hi, I'm Emily. I'm one of the solution engineers at Lucid Software. I'm going to talk a little bit about how Lucid integrates with your Atlassian ecosystem, so Jira and Confluence. Uh, in this case, how it works both left of code and right of code for, in my example, a team of cloud architects. Now, these cloud architects uh, might be working to design something new. So within Lucid, uh, a lot of our teams, especially you know product and engineering teams, will work out of something like a team space. The team space basically allows people to have all the documents that are relevant to the team stored together where everyone knows where to find them and how to access them. Now, on top of having that sort of optional folder structure, it also has a more visual element, which looks a little bit more like um, a board where you can have different things embedded. In this case, you know, the team has their roster, they have a timeline of things they're working on, they have relevant resources embedded from the scrum team map of the entire team uh, to the, the quarter wide planning session um, to even, you know, the confluence page where they're keeping documentation. It's embedded and embeddable here and expandable with a lucid integration that allows you to even edit these confluence pages directly from, say, your team space or your lucid spark board. Now, this architecture team, uh, you know, they've been going through a code architecture review uh, and they are looking to update and add an API. So you can see here the Lucid Spark board where um, they were whiteboarding and talking about it and attached was a Lucid chart diagram where they've highlighted the UML for the API that they plan to build. The architecture team, of course, though, they need to be able to update AWS in this case to support this. Uh, so what they're doing is they're actually going to open up their AWS um, architecture model from Lucid Scale. Now, Lucid Scale actually automatically draws this from the cloud. So when they're ready to look at this specific application and how they plan to extend it to support this new API, they can actually open the Lucid Scale model. And because they're attached to real data, unlike my sample model, they can refresh it and see the latest version of what is currently deployed in AWS. Uh, this also works for Azure and GCP, but this prevents them from starting to plan something out based on incorrect documentation. They're able to then jump over by clicking Diagram of Freeform Shapes into Lucid Chart, which is this fantastic diagramming interface where they have access to all kinds of shapes and libraries from the official AWS libraries to custom shapes that they might use. Um, with it while diagramming all together and having everything shared, um, they're able to then start to plan what this should look like. In fact, having initially brought it over into Lucid Chart, the first thing they might do is go hold a whiteboarding session. They might use Universal Canvas to switch over to Lucid Spark. Uh, so they have a different interface now where they can come in and sort of freeform draw uh, and say, you know, uh, this is where uh, we want to add a bunch of lambdas. So we can add notes here like add lambdas uh, and many, many other things. I've jumped ahead a little bit here and added a couple extra things because again, this could be done in a really collaborative manner, maybe even bringing in, uh, let's say they were working with a consultant, someone as a guest to actually help them figure out what they want to do. Lucid then again is going to have a great integration with that Atlassian ecosystem because we can take these sticky notes and say, you know what, go ahead and send these directly to Jira. We can choose the project, the type um, of the issue, even the reporter. <clears throat> and go ahead and convert these sticky notes straight into JIRA issues. These will get logged into JIRA automatically, uh, and there'll be something that uh, we can actually work with bi-directionally here. I could click the link and actually get out to the JIRA issue. Uh, I could also come in and maybe make a, a matrix out of these if I wanted to start assigning them out. I could also start to assign them out more individually with things like um, setting up maybe story points or priority is another one that we could um, set up for the integration and quickly and easily make sure that everyone knows what they need to work on once we've got this design finalized. They can actually even go back to Lucid Chart. When you switch the interface from Lucid Spark back to Lucid Chart, those things aren't going away. You can actually use them as a guide as you're trying to figure out, okay, from here, what we want to do is go ahead and redesign it. You can start dragging and dropping new shapes onto the canvas and ultimately end up with your nicely redesigned based on your notes version in Lucid Chart, which you can then change from one status to another and indicate, hey, this is either pending review or in this case approved and just ready to go. Lucid even lets you take a look back at older versions if we ever wanted to compare these previous versions throughout time. Uh, so you'd actually even be able to come in and see, hey, this is what was added. Uh, this is what was changed. This is what we're going to do to the architecture, um, you know, to support this new design. So that's left of code. This is we've logged everything into our JIRA board. We've figured out who's working on what and assigned out tasks. Uh, and we have an approved finalized design that we're ready to move forward with. 
We might even go embed that approved finalized design into our Confluence page before release. Now, once these things are done and actually released and deployed, we've moved to write of code. Uh, and there again, Lucid is helpful, especially Lucid scale. We can again, remember, come in and refresh this. So we might see new things appear, the things that are recently deployed, and old things disappear. Something I'd highlight here is that Lucid scale does have things like uh, conditional formatting rules, where we could actually say, hey, catch a couple common mistakes that are often made after deployment. For example, these things were improperly tagged, or, uh, you know, this is associated with a security group that we uh, don't want to put things in. Uh, or, you know, this database was actually left unencrypted when we deployed. So Lucid Scale is also going to help you as you're thinking about monitoring after you've actually made those changes. And again, it'd be quick and easy to go, you know, hop back into maybe that Lucid chart or Lucid Spark board, make a ticket in Jira uh, and let someone know that they need to go quickly fix that um, and get that emergency released because we really don't want to leave that unencrypted. So that's a quick summary of how Lucid is going to work together with your Jira and your Confluence uh, in the Atlassian ecosystem with both Lucid Spark and Lucid Chart.